While I love my Sony Alpha camera and think there's nothing that beats a dedicated camera for capturing video and still images, the majority of people still use their smartphones. And smartphones have advanced to a magnificent point where they are the main mechanism for content creation. So when you have your smartphone and you're using it for video content, how can you enhance that experience better? People often resort to gimbals. Hello everybody, this is Palm Solo, otherwise known as Matthew Miller. Insta360 is a company that you may know from their amazing modular cameras where you can replace the lenses and the bodies and the batteries and do all kinds of creative things with it. Or their 360 cameras that can be amazing and with the capable invisible selfie stick, turn your videos into something amazing. Well, now the company is expanding upon that and rather than just having cameras available for you to create cool content, they're now letting you enhance your smartphone experience. And in our hand, we have the Insta360 Flow Creator Kit. Now, in this kit, there's all kinds of things in this box here. We have the attachment kind of uh, clamp that goes on your phone and attaches to the gimbal itself. We have a spotlight, a portable light that you can connect to the gimbal as well. We have a little carrying case with it. There's some charging cables, a little lanyard as well, and the gimbal itself. And we'll get into a lot more details about the gimbal here in a few minutes. Now, gimbals are great because they allow you a way to stabilize your phone in a number of different ways, right? There's follow, pan follow, FPV, locked mode, auto mode, things like that. Now, Insta360 provides those different gimbal modes as well as using AI in, in their deep track three mode to focus on the person, a pet, uh, a child, an object, and it keeps that subject in the frame with pretty amazing tracking accuracy. Right, it has a trigger button on it, it works with a smart wheel, it has a grip demo, and we'll go through these in this video. Now, one thing is this uh, gimbal functions as a gimbal, a tripod, which is pretty common for other gimbals that we've seen on the market. It also functions as a selfie stick and even as a power bank if you need to charge up your phone. I don't think we've seen too many that uh, offer all of those functionalities in one gimbal. Now using the Insta360 Flow is pretty dang easy. And I'll walk through just a little bit of a demo here uh, in the video. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I simply slide the uh, holder on the iPhone as such. You kind of center it up, make sure it's not hitting the buttons. There are silicon uh, pads on the sides to keep your phone protected. I, I have tried it with a couple of cases, but it works best without a case uh, just because of the fit and finish and things. And then you simply grab the gimbal. Using the Insta360 Flow gimbal is quite easy. Hold out the gimbal in front of you. Attach your phone with the magnetic clip attached. Rotate down and you're off and running. The gimbal starts up, the phone balances out, and you're ready to go. You can extend down the bottom part of the gimbal for a more secure grip with a longer gimbal on your hand. You can rotate around, look at the directional pad and the trigger that are your two main controls. The directional pad has several buttons on it. It has a record button, a power button, and the center is a directional pad. Move the directional pad up and down, right and left. Double press the right button to rotate between portrait and landscape mode on the gimbal. You can also use the trigger. Double single press enables deep track. Double press recenters the gimbal, and a triple press rotates it. You can also pull out the gimbal, and now you have a selfie stick mode, something that's quite unique for this gimbal. Now extend that back down a bit, flip it up. What about the tripod mode? So this little handle that extends down, you extend these three legs down even further, lay them out. And there you go. There's your tripod. Set it down. It's pretty dang stable. There's your tripod mode. This kit does come with a light and you can attach that with this little notch and these little clamps. You just push that button, hook, hook it on there, clamp it on there. And there is a little USB 
C uh, cord and opening there to attach and power on the light. Now the light, you can switch between uh, different colors, shades for the light by just pressing the button on the right side of the light. And then you can also adjust the brightness levels with the left side of the light. So the light's kind of a handy little attachment there. The Insta360 Flow is a very elegant looking um, gimbal. And on the back side, it's a clear uh, smoky kind of black where you can see through and you can see some of the inner workings inside uh, the gimbal itself and then at the bottom of this there's a little door and when I first received this I wondered what is that door for so I did a little bit more research dove into the reviewer guy a little bit more and what I discovered was the Rode um, Rode microphones, I have the Wireless Go 2. A lot of people use these for accurate uh, microphones and picking up things. So what you can do is this little opening, you open the door, you simply slide in the clamp for the Rode mic, and there you go. It's attached, and then you can connect that actually to, to the uh, phone and do your recording with having that Rode mic already right there and ready to go to capture the most uh, clear uh, audio that you can. I've used a lot of gimbals in the past, and um, I was often overwhelmed, actually, by the number of functions available and all of that, and I, I really wanted something a little bit easier to use. And the main wheel here on the back, right, the middle section is a directional arrow, uh, a joystick, actually. You just simply move that to move the gimbal all around. And then uh, the bottom button is a power button, uh, this mode here. Uh, this button here does a bunch of different functions. We press it once, it flips between selfie and back to the forward camera. Push it a couple times, it rotates. You can see there between uh, portrait and landscape mode. And then uh, the different modes. I don't know if you, you can see the different modes in the indicator light up top. You simply rotate your thumb around the screen, about uh, three quarters of the way around the screen, and it switches between the different modes. You can go right and left between the different modes, so it's pretty easy to navigate. And the red button on the front there is obviously the record, uh, record stop button. Now this is a matte finish on this, so it's a very easy button to use. Now on the back side, we have the trigger button, right? Now the trigger button has uh, three main uses. I, I, press it one, I press it once, and it turns on the deep uh, Deep Track 3 AI tracking, which is amazing. And I'll try to show that in a demo here in a little bit. That's with one press. Another single press turns that off. And once you press that and you enable that capability, you can then go and choose uh, the, the subject of your tracking. A single press of the trigger activates the Deep Track 3.0 technology, which will track you. And as you can see in this short clip, I'm moving side to side and the phone moves automatically and tracks me. It's pretty incredible because as I move side to side, almost more than 180 degrees, the gimbal continues to track my location. I didn't sprint, but I did go almost more than 180, maybe 270 degrees side to side, and the gimbal tracked me flawlessly. It's a pretty stunning achievement, and it's able to track people, pets, objects, and anything that you select in the Deep Track 3 mode. Now, if I push that trigger button twice, it recenters uh, the gimbal. If I push it three times, it flips the camera around. So now I'm doing uh, selfies with the back camera, right? And then I press it three times again, it goes back. Press it three times again, it goes back. One time, AI. Two times recenters the gimbal. Now the Insta360 software is actually the same software that you would use with a connected Insta360 camera. It's just that when you have the gimbal attached there's of course some different interface and modes you can use in that software. Of course it'll default to the uh, to the video mode but you can have time shift mode as I show there. There's uh, live streaming modes, there's time lapse, widescreen, slow motion, video photo, and then a panoramic photo. And that panoramic panoramic photo is actually very cool because the gimbal will uh, automatically rotate and capture the gimbal at different intervals. There's, uh, of course, you know, there's a bunch of different settings you can go in here. I tap the home, it goes to the Insta360 app, tap that button, go right back into the flow. And there's a bunch of other settings, you know, filters, 
ways you can uh, customize the the uh, experience that you're doing. And I'll cover these more in my written Substack review um, because there's a ton of modes and it would take me quite a while to go through it with all the demonstrations. The Insta360 Flow Gimbal is one of the best gimbals on the market with four main uses as either a gimbal, a selfie stick, a tripod, and even a battery bank. It's very easy to use. Just learn the control pad and directional pad on the front and the trigger on the back. Just a few minutes to learn each function and multiple and double presses of the button between portrait, landscape mode, and moving around as you capture video to your heart's content. You never have to touch the screen and all controls are done right there on the gimbal itself. It's an extremely capable gimbal and one that can't be beat.